Hello and welcome to the Gage Look, and we're back with Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, and the Handsome Manfred campaign. Or maybe the Sexy Manfred campaign? I don't know. One or the others. Right, so we've just taken Karak Kadron, and we have a fight with the Kislev, probably in this first turn, unless they run away too far. We're trying to upgrade everything at the moment, so it's all, it's all a bit editating the way it works uh, not that it's a bad feature or anything like that but I just I wish I could build more <laughs> that's all I can say I want more growth um, where are we on growth anyway okay so let, let's not build anything that unless I can afford to build one of the gold producing buildings yeah I should be able to do that if I get some money from this battle Okay, let's go fight these little buggers. Bear in mind, guys, this is a no-nonsense campaign. We're not particularly far in lore. Um, our roleplay here, I always like to have some sort of roleplay off the the campaign. It's really that we're just bastards. We, we just want to conquer. And Manfred is great for that. Uh, yeah, let's fight this battle. Um, it's, it says it's much easier than it is. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult a battle. Bear in mind, I lost my backup army. I do have more cavalry than them. Obviously, don't have as many archers as them. That should be reasonable. I don't really like my um, is it Cairn wraiths? But I didn't really have. What the heck? You buggers are corner camping. You see this shite? Look at this. I mean, it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Although they don't really have. They have slight range superiority, but I have magical superiority, so if I was them, I probably wouldn't have corner camped in that situation. And I corner camp a lot, as you probably know, so, um, well, we'll come towards you, don't you worry, son. Yeah, it'd be fair to say I've not spent much time with Cairn Rave, so maybe this is an opportunity whilst I'm waiting for better units to find out if I do enjoy them or not. I'm just kind of making a standard group in formation here, guys. Nothing too interesting. I obviously have the Devils or Swartz having, having. You know what I mean. I will put you in one group as well. It'll be too painful. White King and Handsome Manfred. So if you guys can all just move forward, that'd be nice. You guys go on that. What has Handsome Manfred done? Is he still just on a horse to take it, isn't he? But look at how sexy he is. Look at that. In fact, can we get a can we get a beautiful screenshot of that? I mean, look at him. He's like a hero from the ages that have gone past. Print screen. Let's get my mouse. Oh, no. There we go. Now that is a beautiful man. I'm sure you agree. And he is a man. He's a man with a curse, but he's a man with a plan. So you guys are coming out your corner camp, which, to be honest, is pretty sensible. And the White King has a horse now. I'm probably not going to keep a White King in this army, to be honest. I much prefer having a vampire, but at the moment I can't recruit a vampire, so why not? So I say we just drop some bloody magic on these buggers. What do you say? I'm sure you agree. Don't know who I'm talking to right now. <laughs> the audience. Hello, audience. Obviously, I'm not streaming this or anything. I have been playing around with doing some streams of my Warhammer games, but I think I'm uh, probably not going to stream too many of the campaigns. I think they're probably a bit too long for streaming purposes. Maybe some battles. I've been invited to take part. I believe the chap is called Shadow Online Gaming, the channel, which I'm sure you can check out, um, in some one-on-one -on -one multiplayer battles, which I'll do, but I I've not played a Total War game without the Radius mod for years but the first go I've had on it is probably... Did anybody else hear that, by the way? So I did a... I'll rewatch this. There was a... I don't know what that noise is all about. Anyway, yeah, talking rubbish. But I've not played without the Radius mod for so long, I'm not even sure I can play it anymore. So, um... I was never great at multiplayer in the first place, so we'll see. But it's always good fun. We can get to meet other subscribers and things like that on other channels. And, you know, and... In your Total War focused channels, I would imagine we're all into similar things. 
I've noticed he's actually doing a Bretonia campaign as well, so if you guys fancy that, check him out. Okay, let's just delay the little bugger a little bit. Yeah, he could take a hit. Anfrit is a bit of a beast. Let's just get the White King in there as well. It's so awkward playing on N the Empire Divided, which is the first campaign I've played without Radius, honestly, for years. Um, it's because there's all lot of, there's lots of little features that I would class as missing now. I'm so used to them in Total War. For all the criticism Total War got, it does have lots of features that are very helpful. And I think people have forgotten about that, in my opinion. If you could get in there as well. I mean, I'm not really worried about losses here. We all know that we can get quite a lot back via replenishment with these little buggers. I imagine we're doing some damage in here anyway. We do have spearmen, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. I've never had skeleton archers at gold before. They're still terrible, though, I might add. But no, you get into the back of them, actually. get up there, you get involved. Try not get involved in the melee. It's okay for my monstrous infantry, I think. Okay, and Wraiths are getting in and about, I suppose. You didn't really get involved, though, did you? It's my fault more than your fault, though. You wouldn't want to fight against the Vampire Count army, would you? Some brutal guys in here. Is that their boss? Their boss. You know what I mean. Take him out. White King. You're getting mauled for some reason. I don't know what you're doing. Where is he? I think we'll get him. I think so. Come on. I don't want you guys firing on to. Stick the fate of Buna on him as well, it's not great, but it'll do some direct damage. And then stick Spirit Leech on him as well. Oh wait, did that not stack? Ah, oh, did I get the wrong guy? He should be dead. Did I lose a single person there? Obviously I lost some skeletons. Oh my goodness. I'm getting weird pop-ups on the side. You can't see that, hopefully. Um, yeah, I don't think I lost a single soldier. Oh, no, I did. Lost five. Are you dead yet? Come on. Fast forward. I have a thing about killing their leaders. I don't know why, really. It's not particularly necessary, because they just recruit a new leader if the army gets away. Is he dead? No, he's not. There we go. In battle. Decisive. That's something to call it. Losing five men to their 848. He must have got in with our lord. That's the only reason for that, I can imagine. Yep, units replenished, 25%. Fairly sure I don't need that much replenishment, but it's fine. Okay, handsome Manfred. Could do with your hell steed, couldn't we? Yeah, if you can get the curse of undeath, that would be nice. And we'll also get you Lord Master, Lord of Death. White King, if you can just, you know, get a bit better, basically. I don't think we should go into their territory at the moment. Although, should I? Okay, probably won't have lost anyone there. No, so let's, let's just kill them. Oh, Sternsman. Oh, I do enjoy getting the Sternsman. So let's get back here. So these are very similar to these, but with regeneration. So I think I'll just get rid of one of my Grave Guard and replace them with a Sternsman. These guys are also pretty decent. 
So let's recruit one of them. And let's get rid of one of these guys. I mean, these are not the elite elite yet. But it's not bad having a regenerate. Oh. Did I not upgrade everything? Casually replenish rate. That's fine. It's a wee bit annoying that you guys are not in the order that would make the most sense. And they also have charge defense, which makes them far better as well. The problem is the valuable veterans mod makes these graveguard probably in the end better than the Sturmsman. Again, they're not going to be the most elite units I have, so I don't think we'll worry about it too much. Uh, no, now I will be able to build that bloody thing, will I? Where am I going with this guy? Is it just exploring? I do have a quest battle to fight, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Oh yes, come on, Ulrich. So there's a fair amount of vampiric corruption in the provinces surrounding me now, which is good. It'll make conquest. Are you really coming back to fight me? I don't want to fight this battle. I'm going to quick save it because it could go south. I'll have to recruit some more soldiers there. I'd happily peace out with you lot, you know. I didn't really want to be at war with you in the first place. It was more my alliance that called for that. Same with kids. Well, no, we want to conquer up there, so we do want to go to war. Okay, we'll only need to fight the dwarves and Zufbar soon. See, I could stop building one of my buildings and then upgrade my city, but I do need more troops in Fort Obersteyer as well now. Let's see what we can do, shall we? The end turns because I'm going between Rome, two empire divided, and Total War, Warhammer, Mortal Empires. It's the end turns are so massively different. As in, these are long and they're short. Okay, so we definitely need to recruit more to this guy's little army. Okay, lots of good stuff coming. So if I stop building that. Do I not have... Oh, I'm such an idiot. God damn it. Um, okay, let's just make you a wee bit better, though, shall we? What can we recruit? My worry is I don't know if you've got enough time to recruit there. I like human levies to defend me, mainly. Um... Let's get one each of these guys at the moment, and let's get a devil's. There we go. And let's get rid of you. And you. Okay. Can you make it there? No, you can't. Let's go halfway and raid. I presume we only need 25% to raid, right? That's fine. Should be relatively safe up there. A little bit. Oh, you little buggers. What's Drakenhof got? Oh, uh, Drakenhof's fine. Did not you get like round me. there? I'll tell you what, though. They're not weak, are they? Um, okay, this isn't going to be like a, a defensive army, but I can't really get too much at the moment, so let's just get a couple yes, swordsmen in there. Right, what the hell are you doing? When the following battle, I oh, just keep exploring. I'm intrigued to know what's going on. Let's see if there's any lizard men or skaven. I hope the skaven are still alive down here. Okay, another end turn. I don't want the von Karsteins to wipe out the empire. Oh, god damn it! All right, we'll have to fight this. Not going to be the most entertaining battle in the world. They have no archers whatsoever. I have five, so that's not bad. Okay, fight battle. They do outnumber me though, so I'm going to have to do. Yeah, probably going to have to do another corner camp. Sorry. 
and it's Isabella herself. What I do have, though, is flanking opportunities. Yeah, this will do just fine. I know it's really awkward, but I don't think you care, do you? So we got kind of standard three three lines here that'll do just fine for flanking purposes. Not for flanking for line purposes. Got our archers here. Now we've got a whole bunch of dudes that can vanguard deploy. I thought I had cavalry here, but that's not right. But I do have the devils, so that'll do. I'm presuming these guys will be hidden here, as will they. I don't think you guys will be hidden there, though. Oh, so you guys could just stay over there, and you can come here. Okay, archers, if you want to come along there. You guys want to come along there. guys want to come along there and let's really draw you out along there we'll get you in here it's all a little bit painful I know this sort of battle well he's turning in I'm gonna need a name for this guy so if anybody can let me know he is West Guard but I'll definitely change it to a good suggestion so you've got quite a weak force over here and this guy has got not much spells. And what about Isabella? What does she have? She has a few things by the looks of it. She has minus 30 melee attack. Forbidden Rod. Oh god, she's got a whole bunch of stuff. So I need to take her out. So I would like Big Walmond here to kill her. I mean, he should be more than capable. Although he did really struggle last time. Oh no. Don't need you guys to move. You're going to definitely be on the flank. There's nothing they can even do against you. What do these guys have? Oh, they have stock. And they are just very fast. They have physical resistance of 5%. That's interesting. And you have magic resistance. And don't forget, I've got the Konigstein stalkers here, which are no, no jokes himself and even the tithe are not to be laughed at in fact let's just get the tithe a little bit better out they will take a hell of a pounding and you know a skeleton reaper skeleton spearman pretty normal stuff really why is she hurting causes damage to herself to increase her power what the f there's loads of... Mm, I don't know, there's not that much power actually. Not for a radius. Again, remember, always radius increases power reserves and changes magic balance a little bit anyway. Are you going to find my dog? Oh, you have found my dogs. God damn it. Hmm. The dogs can just go over there. That'd be nice. Well, this is entertaining so far, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I can summon crypt ghouls. That is not to be scoffed at in the flank of an enemy either, is it? Come on! Zombies. I love fighting these guys, to be honest. I absolutely adore it. That's why I love Bretonia so much. There's nothing better than Grail Knights charging into zombies and things. It's just it just gets my wee ticker going. You with us yet? Yes, you are. I do have a reasonable amount of firepower here as well, remember. I will try and use some flanking. I, I think this could be quite easy, actually. It's The balance of power is, is not suggesting that, but I'm not so sure. As soon as the arrows start flying, there we go. Do some damage to you lot. I wonder if Isabella will sit back, because I'll totally focus fire her if she is. And we're already doing a decent amount of damage here, to be honest. Fortunately, I don't have any spearmen there, but I don't think they do too much to me. 
you cast something on me already. Minus 30 melee attack. That's a pain in the ass, I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, we're dominating them on that side already. Right, where's Isabella going? Okay. So let us change this up a little bit. Isabella, where are you? Where are you? What the hell's happening to her? Is she just getting hurt, bro? Oh god, I meant to do crypt horrors. Well, there's the first flank anyway. Oh, I've already broken in the middle there. God. Get involved, please. Okay, so if you could fire into that, and if you could fire into that, that'd be lovely. You guys can just do some damage in the back. Where are you, my friend? Isabella's going down. And I think you guys can come across now, right? You're never going to catch up, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's cast it on you. Isabella dead? Got to be close to death, right? I'm hoping I'm doing more damage to their guys than my guys with this. I think so. I think we'll actually try and break this flank. If you guys can get over there, that'd be nice. And you guys are just going to chase these around, aren't you? So just come on. Okay, Devils of Schwartz having. You could. Uh, Want to do some damage to these little buggers? Be very nice. Yeah, there we go. Can I have kills? Unit you know, has been wiped out. It's probably my cryptors. If you can get back out there, I think we'll just charge you into the back of that. So I think at the moment I can only do crypt horrors. I'm sure you can do crypt horrors later. Okay, you guys get in here. And I think if you both charge the same one, it'll be just fine. You need to get out of there, please. You have lost a unit, which is a bit unfortunate. and time the charge properly. Okay, I think we're okay there. And if you can also charge into the back, that should be a decent time charge. Let's have a little look at it. Yeah, not quite right, but almost. We should eat you pretty quickly, I think. Where are you, pal? If you can heal up somebody... Yeah, let's help the zombies out, would you? Let's give some more melee attack to this slot. You're probably doing huge amounts of damage, I imagine. Devils. Hopefully you're pummeling the back of these guys, as are you. Weak against armor, but you're fighting zombies, so you should be doing decent damage, hopefully. Yeah, it's proven. This is how you corner camp with vampire camps against non-ranged armies. The biggest problem is you can't really corner camp with vampire accounts if, you if you're if you against anyone else. <laughs> you can get away with chaos a little bit because they really don't have much in the way of range. Victory is in our grasp. Fire into that. If you can fire into that as well. And if you can fire into that. Be lovely. Have we broken through this flank yet? I feel like we should have already, but we're not. You are taking a pummeling once again. Just, just the armor is so low, isn't it? Yeah, these guys must be crumbling now. Close to it, at least. Tithe, if you can get involved. Konigstein. You need to push further into this. Okay, we've broken in the middle. You guys go 
left. You guys go right. Okay, you've broken them. Warriors are rallying. You'd expect so. Still more people fighting here than I expected. Oh, of course, there's a vampire lord is killing me. Where are you at? I don't want to lose the devils. And these guys are just getting absolutely pummeled, to be honest. Okay, maybe get your guys to focus in on this new lot of zombies. You can heal the devils. You can get in there. You're all out of ammo, aren't you? Let's go fight them. Still, this flank, you know, it's still not broken yet. I'll do some flanking maneuvers on them soon, hopefully. This is crumbling, right? Yeah. Alright, you guys get around there, would you? You get into the back of them. You guys are critical already. Pull into the back of the zombies. Yeah, that should be them pretty quickly out of it. Okay. If we can get you involved there. Come on. Are you still going? He did outnumber me to begin with, though, guys. So. Oh, Jesus, he's almost dead. Die. No. Ah, bugger. That's a pain. Luckily, the morale should be okay, I imagine, in this situation. I'm breaking in a few places, but. Come on. You guys take them out, would you? Come on, this has got to be it already. This could actually turn around to them. That would be unfortunate. I don't understand how you guys are still fighting. Okay, Devils, if we can get try and get another charge at least. I've still got a fairly significant force on this side. Okay, let's get into the back of this. Dealt with you yet? Nope. This is ridiculous. Okay, if you can fight there, if you guys can come this way, I need you in this melee. Unit's been wiped out. God damn it, it's the wolves, isn't it? God, they might actually beat me here because of that vampire lord. I was getting too cocky. You can go get involved in there as well. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, get into the back of those spearmen. That's the last major unit here. Hopefully you guys can do some serious damage. Should be almost over here. So many skeleton warriors still, though. If you can get over there. Warriors are rallying, that's great. News, I suppose. I should have already won it, that's the problem. Okay. Warriors are rallying again, great news, but should still be a. shouldn't be fighting right now, we should be winning. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, this could go the other way. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. If you can go 
fight them. Just need you in there. Right, you just sacrifice yourselves for that. Okay, they're all crumbling now, so that might be it now. There's still that lord. Come on. Yeah, that's them all deep there. But nothing fast really left over. You still alive? God damn it, you die already. Oh my god, come on. What the hell is going on here? Seriously. You're going to stop crumbling in a second, aren't you? You're not actually surrounded, that's a slight issue. Okay, come on. You guys just need to... Ah, here we go. It's almost over. They have a stack coming towards me right now, though, so... This battle was ridiculously badly fought on my behalf. Surround them a bit more. Okay, that's you done. Let's get you over here. Let's just fast forward it. He is crumbling now, at least. He's not doing a huge amount of damage to my guys, luckily. I am concerned here. Thank God. Well, that was a terrible battle. I apologise on behalf of my channel, the Gage Look, on how that was fought. We won it. We lost our Lord. We lost pretty much all our regiments of renown. We should have... The one thing I'd say is the balance of power was slightly in their favour for a reason. But I feel like I should have won that easier. I didn't use my troops well enough, and so forth and so forth. So... What was that? The dead rise again? Is that what it says every time? We're probably going to call it an episode soon, but we'll let the end turn play out, see what happens. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about the Von Karsteins. Maybe if we just burn Wurtbad to the ground or something. Wurtbad. How do you think you pronounce it? Wurtbad or Wurtbad? I don't know. Did he survive? Yes, I'll be your friend. I'm quite a well-liked vampire. You know what that is for, guys? Do I need to tell you? It's because I'm handsome. It's because I've got a wee goatee and some hair. It makes all the difference. People love me now. <laughs> I do seem to be a bit more popular with the human factions than I'm used to. I wonder if there's been a slight tweak in mortal empires. Maybe they hate other people more. Like dark elves and things. Skaven, I suppose. There's only two Skaven factions. That bothers me a little bit. I'm going to have to liberate some Skaven, I think. Yeah, you're away. Buggering around in my... Pro right, this is... How did you survive? Did I miss something there? You know what, let's give you some stuff. If we can. Fire resistance shit, because you'll have that. And you picked up something, didn't you? You got a new trait. How did he survive? He got another regeneration. Hmm. Don't know how that'll work. Okay, let, let's just make you a decent army now. Swartz having, having, hoffing. Anyway, we definitely want to upgrade that. Now. Yes, we will call it an episode there. We've got a siege. It's probably not a siege, but a battle to fight in the next turn. The next episode. We've got to deal with them. And we're going to build up this army a little bit as well. We'll need to build up our income a little bit more, I think, to support a full army of what I'm thinking. This doesn't need to be as strong once I have a full fort in place. 
but we will deal with that. Anyway, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel in this series. Please leave a comment. I know I ask huge amounts of questions during each episode, which is probably painfully annoying for most of you, but if anyone fancies answering, please let me know. I'm obviously looking for names and tactic ideas at the moment. I'm just going to wipe out Kislev in the mountains. Um, probably just the mountains. I'll probably take Fort Jakova as well. Um, and then we'll probably come to the, the Dawi to deal with them. Although there is this incessant friend of the Van Karsteins. Let's see if they're willing to do anything. No. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you for the next episode. Cheers.